I mentioned the Northern um, Fight Leagues and how that all got started. Um, so moving um, moving on to that, um, a good card put together um, by yourself. I know you've got one other fight um, that's been put in by another promoter, but wanted to focus on the ones from yourself. Uh, so the main event, um, we've got Paul Ogadenby, um fighting with Filippo Masso. Yeah. Um, so yeah, give us your thoughts on that fight. <coughs> so I've seen Paul fight before and, and yeah. you know, fans of TTT would have seen him before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on, on that fight? So um, Paul and I used to be stable mates. Uh, Paul was incredibly terrifying. He, he jokingly said, come dance with me, Astrid. And I'd always be saying, I know that he's going to be gentle, but there's just not even any point. Um, no, he's a really good guy. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the ring again. Uh, his, his fights are exciting because... For someone who is really quite laid back, you know, he does he, deliver a killer he blow. He does, he does. Um, and Filippo, Filippo's highly experienced. Um, Filippo's a Kiwi, uh, presently living over in Western Australia, so yep. we are getting him over for the event. Yep. Um, look, uh, the interesting thing for Paul is, is that if he succeeds in this fight, he gets a shot at a New South Wales title. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm really excited to see two heavyweights going at it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so Paul is someone that can operate at cruiserweight and, and at heavyweight. Yeah, he um, switches between. And so you obviously know him, know him well. And do you know, is his plan to continue at, at heavyweight? Is that something that you've discussed with him more? Uh, we haven't talked about it, but I suspect he's... I mean, everyone wants to fight a little bit lighter, so the punch is coming uh, away yeah. a bit softer. Uh, not quite so much weight behind them. But, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what he's... His plans are, but I, I suspect cruiserweight might be where he wants yeah. to be moving forward. Yeah, so, so I've, yeah, I've seen him inspiring with yeah, he spars with Carly Meehan fairly regularly, yeah. um, and has done in the past. And yeah, even against Carly, who's not a huge heavyweight, doesn't look like a huge man there. Yeah. Um, but like you say, it does have the power to just not well, not both his opponents out so far. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh look, the, the last knockout was beautiful. He just left his jab yeah. lingering out there a little bit too long, and, and came through with a nice clean right. And uh, yeah, did not see uh, did not see much else that, no. that <laughs> evening. Um, so and then next on the card, um, someone else that I understand that you've got a um, yeah former um, boxing relationship with. Yeah. Um, yeah. In Mark um, Two Sharp Lucas, um, he takes on Marlon Toby. So yeah, what's um, what's your relationship with Mark and, and how did that start? Yeah, uh, so Mark and I went off to nationals in 2014 as part of the New South Wales yeah. squad. So um, look, I was in awe of his performance at, over in uh, Western Australia. Yeah. It was phenomenal for him to get through. I think he, he definitely had the hardest draw. He fought five times uh, in a, I think it was it was ridiculous. Yeah. Was a very maybe four days, if that's right. But look, he um, he got through an incredible performance. He's such a nice, humble guy as well. Um, but yeah, just he'll fight through anything. Absolutely. So yeah, we've been there for a couple of Mark's fights since he's actually there for his for his debut on the Gill. Um, Fletcher yeah, on the card. Yeah. Um, and yeah, looked looked fantastic that night. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, int- very, very excited to see him. Um, but then yeah, his opponent um, Marlon Toby uh, is you know very very, um, very experienced and, yeah. and coming over from Queensland. Yeah, he uh, trains under Steve Deller. Yeah. So yeah, um, it, it'll be a good fight. I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and I do think that one's going to go the distance. So then, then elsewhere on the card, we've got another. Do we have three fighters from from the Northern Beaches yeah, involved yeah, we've, we've in the uh, in the next three beaches. fights? Um, so yeah, run, run me through the rest of the um, yeah yeah the rest of the card um, and you know what what you're looking forward to there. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try and remove yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've got uh, Mitchell Dawson, who trains under Paul Anderson up at Glove Box, uh, Warrigwood. Yep. And um, Mitchell's been out of the ring for a little while, but. I believe preparations are coming along really, really well. Um, he, yeah, local Northern Beaches boy, he's jumping in with um, one of Mark Lucas's stable mates, yeah. um, Rex. And Rex is originally from the Philippines. Uh, I, he's been out of the ring, I think, since 2012. So okay. he's got a new trainer. He's been working really hard, um, yeah, with Nudge, uh, who's also Mark's trainer. And I think that's going to be a good fight. Excellent. Um, and then, obviously, the final fight of the evening, we've got um, the third guy from the Northern Beach, is Nathan Epps. Yeah. Um, he is making his debut. Um, so I understand uh, from yourself, he has a, um, you know, a fairly lengthy background in kickboxing. Yeah. Um, yep. So, yeah, you tell, me, tell us a bit about Nathan. Yeah, so sorry, I didn't fully answer your last question. Uh, so Nathan's, um, 
Nathan's making his boxing debut, as you mentioned. Uh, he trains under Nick Stone uh, down at Manly Vale. Yeah. And uh, I think he's had something like 37 wins and 8 losses, some extraordinary number of fights for a 24-year-old. Uh, but, yeah, that's all been uh, kickboxing today, and this is his first boxing fight. He's jumping in with Joe Ray. Uh, so we've got a bit of an England versus Ireland competition going on there. Uh, both both Australian boys now will take them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and uh, Joe Ray's obviously got his background in prize fighter back in the UK. So yeah, look, I think it's going to be another really exciting fight. Um, it, just uh, coming from completely different angles, different ages, different types of experience. Uh, yeah, another exciting one. Yeah, definitely. And Joe's, yeah, say Joe's someone that I watched on TV as, you know, as a youngster. Um, as mentioned on Prize Fighter and, you know, saw him fight the likes of um, Martin Murray back in, back in the day. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as recent, recently, um, very controversial losses to, to a few people in Australia, yeah. Bilal Akoui, I know a fight that, or a rematch that he's been chasing, um, and we'll actually be speaking to Joe at the weekend, so we'll, um, yeah, we'll, ask, yeah, him, we'll ask him about that. Um, get them on the next card. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so the fight night is on the 30th uh, of this month um, at DYRSL, here, where we are right now. Um, where can people get tickets? How can people come down and get yeah, and get sure. involved in the night? Uh, look, I would recommend jumping on uh, Facebook and looking up Northern Sydney Fight League. Um, on there, you'll find links to be able to buy tickets online. Uh, otherwise, yeah, and my number's on there as well. So, yep, you don't, call. you don't I'm want to be putting a whole lot of random phone calls. Yeah. There. Um, yeah, so look, just get in touch, drop me a line that way, uh, and then also uh, on the night, you get tickets on the door. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Whether it, it, they could all be gone. They could all be gone by then. Well, we're three. Well, we're three lads from the Northern Beaches. There's every chance it's yeah. going to be a, um, a great atmosphere. I'll um, I'll put a link to um, where you can get tickets from on the bottom of this video. Right. I'll leave out your phone number. Um, <laughs> and um, and obviously wish you all the best. And, and we'll catch up with you on fight night. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll catch up with you once it's all said and done, and, and get your thoughts. And um, yeah. Yeah, then we'll look forward to the next show champagne. absolutely <laughs> and then we'll look forward to um, to the next show um, that you put on hopefully another PBA show in the not too distant future and um, yeah we'll look forward to catching up with you great thank All you right. so much no worries cheers Astrid cheers. thanks